Chicago White Sox baseball brought to you by Miller. There's good enough and there's better than it has to be. Miller, good call. The Illinois Lottery. No matter how you play, play the Illinois Lottery. Have a ball. I'm here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm back again. Back again after the drubbing that we took to the at the hands of the Milwaukee Brewers on the road in Milwaukee. And so we are now, guess what? We're going to play our good friends, the Detroit Tigers. So we will play day. And then we will have that option of playing against the Tigers. Of course, we're coming off a 22-game home uh, at home streak. So we are now at Detroit, which is good. Um, so it's offering me Keuchel as the starter, but I'm going to go with Gonzalez. Really should be... Gonzalez, if possible, but that's not even possible. So uh, let me see here. We're going to. Is Gonzalez a little bit tired, maybe? No, he just wasn't um, activated. So um, let's send down Kopech and see if I can bring up. No, I can't. I really can't bring up Gonzalez. So, we are going to, all right, if this were real life, Rodon couldn't come up because he would be um, still recovering from Tommy John surgery, and I want to stay as close to real life as I can. Cease can't do it because Cease um, is limited. Um not that he has to necessarily be, although he was, yeah, that's true. I'm not replaying 2019. Um, although he is still kind of limited. Um, I did add innings to him from his 2019, but I only put him up to 146, which is probably what the White Sox really would do as well. They wouldn't, he wouldn't go from pitching 75 innings or whatever he pitched to pitching uh, 200 innings. So so I guess our only option really is Benuelos, um, who has not pitched and would not be good. But, um, okay, let's see. We, we can figure this out. Oh, wait a minute. All right, yeah, they got 26 guys up. Um, and they got 12 pitchers, so who's this Cisnero guy? Yeah, they can put him down. He's a reliever. All right, so um, we should have Benuelos as an option, and we do. Um, let me see if I want to change anything about the lineup. I'm hoping Benuelos can at least get us five good innings. We have a little bit more. Um, yeah, we have no and Mercedes. I don't want Mercedes up. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to send Mercedes down because I don't really need Mercedes on, on the roster. Um, and we're going to bring up another reliever. I think that's really what we need. Another reliever. You know, I could have started Carson Fulmer. But we'll stick with... Um, we will stick with Benuelos right now. Because I think it's almost guaranteed... Well, I don't know if Benuelos is even in their plans at all, but... I don't see Chicago ever really putting Fulmer back in the rotation. So let's bring up Herrera, um, who hasn't even really pitched, and I should have made him better than that. But anyway, we'll bring him up. 
And in fact, I may work on making him better because he should be better. But at least for right now, he'll be depth out in the uh, bullpen. Because that's really what we should have. Now, um, maybe edit the lineup. Again, this is all against Detroit, so it's not like anything is going to be, you know, problematic. Uh, let's see here. Let's put Tilson in right for Mazzara, who has been playing quite a bit. Um, yeah, I think we're good there. All right, so I think this is... Um, this is the lineup I'll send out. Yeah. And I caught the uh, the volume. So, caught that this time. All right, so here we go. We got Lewis Robert leading off against Verhagen. And he strikes out. It brings up Lurie Garcia, and he flies out. And that brings up Moncada. And he is probably out. Yeah, he is. So they're going to start off with Cameron Mabin in the bottom of the first. And he leads off with a single. Might be a quick game for Ben Walos. Yeah, he walks the next guy, Goodrum. Uh, fly ball to right. And let's see what happens when the uh, when Tilson catches this. Whether they try to go for third. They don't. So Crone is up. And he flies out. Ben Walos, come on, man. Get us out of this. And Scope is up, and he is going to fly out. And uh, that one ain't coming back. There's no way that uh, that's going to be a borderline home run. So they get no runs, and Ancanarcion leads off for us in the second. And he's going to fly out. And that brings up Brayu. And by the way, I mentioned last time that I thought I thought Abreu was doing badly, doing not well at all, and I was right. He's hitting 229 coming into this game, I believe. So he does need to pick it up. All right, so Detroit up in the bottom of the second. Strikeout for Brandon Dixon. Candelario. Line out Max. I don't have a Max. And then that brings up Romine. And Romine is going to hit a ground ball to Madrigal. He should make the play. And he's out. So Benuelos got us through two. There's good news. Double one to six single. Jimenez. That brings up Charlie Tilson. And Tilson! <laughs> Tilson's ripping a single double asterisk. Oh, wait, maybe not. In fact, I'm going to say no because I'm not going to chance it with no outs. So Madrigal's up, and that's going to be a pass ball. Love those in this situation especially. So runners are at second and third with Madrigal up. And he hits a double one to six single double asterisk, or maybe a single double asterisk. And I am going to send the lead runner because it's 80%. And that does bring in two runs for us. So that's very good. And then that's going to be a single by Lewis Robert. Runners at first and second. And nobody out. Now here's the thing. All right, I'm going to do the bunting again. You watching, Tom Bunch? I'm bunting again. And we'll see if it works. And he did move the runners over to second and third, but now there's an out, and Moncada's up. 
And he hits a ground ball to shortstop, and he's a four. Hopefully that gets through. Base hit. But see, I want to point out that that only worked because there was a shortstop four. There was a lawn gnome at short. That's going to work most of the time when that's the case. And Canarcion strikes out, and that brings up Abreu. And Abreu has a single. So we got a 4 nothing lead here, and that's healthy against uh, Detroit. But let's see if we can get a little more. No, we can't. Because with Ben Buelos on the mound, Lord knows we're, we may need some runs. But there's a ground ball to the pitcher, Ben Buelos, and he makes the play. Maven is up. Maven walks. I mean, this really is a bad card. There's no denying and there is no denying that Goodrum just went deep and makes, makes the score four to two. So now we're only up by two, a little more depressing. There's a strikeout, Cabrera gone. And that brings up Crone. And Crone is going to hit it to shortstop, our own shortstop. But we got him. So we still have a two-run lead, and Jimenez up, and he's going to hit a fly ball. So, long story short, we really need a, another couple runs, at least, to make me a little more at ease. Tilson got a single, and Madrigal, is he really that good at stealing, or is that just kind of a smokescreen? We'll just let Madrigal hit. And he hits a double one to six, and that's going to be a double. He's going to get the full the full Monty on that. And I am, man, one out. I'm going to hold. It's probably going to come back to nip me, but I'm going to hold. With Robert up. And he walks to load the bases. Of course, now. Lurie Garcia's up and he'll hit into a double play. But he doesn't! Nice. Ah, all right, I'm going to send the runner now. Hold the trailing runner. And he threw the ball away for an error. And now, now Verhagen's tired. Yeah, sure, now he is. Well, anyway, there's our two runs. And uh, they're going to take Verhagen out and bring in Alcantara. And then he rips a double and knocks in two more. So, yeah, I think uh, Benuelos, man, <laughs> might just make it through this game. And Canarsion. Fly ball B, that's the second out. But we got an 8-2 to two lead now. And Abreu is up. And he's going to hit into a ground ball. Out. But this probably buys Benuelos at least another inning, because I was considering taking him out. But that's a base hit, and then Dixon's up. And then Dixon hits into a double play, a sweet double play. And Candelario is up, and he'll hit ball to shortstop. And it gets away for an E single plus E6. So Romine is maybe going to single him home, but let's see. 60% I'm going to throw. Now he scored. Dang it. I'm going to let Ben Whalo stay out there try to get through this inning. And he does. So it's 8-3. to three. That's not too bad, but he only went four innings. And I guess that's kind of good. Now, if we get like two or three more runs here... Let me tell you, I'm going to send a tired Venuelos back out there. Yes, I will. Oh, home run Jimenez. Yeah. I might just be sending his tired ass back out there because I don't want to go through this bullpen. I mean, that's for one thing. Tilson is up, and Tilson's going to ground out now that a lefty is out there. Madrigal is up, and he's going to hit a fly to the right. And that's Goody, and he's not good. But he does make the play, and now Lewis Robert is up, and he'll swing away. And that's an out. 
but you know it, as promised, a tired Benuelos is back out on the mound. No, that's a single. Ten to three. Hoodie is up, and he hits a fly ball to center. Cabrera's up, and that might be a pass ball. Okay. You can do that all you want, because, I mean, you need seven runs. Crone is up, and Crone is going to hit it to Madrigal, who should make the play. He's two. And that is it. He's out. Now, I will take him out next. Well, maybe not. Because, you know, I mean, I was going to say I would I would take him out because m maybe he would miss his next start. But, you know, his next start is going to be on the fourth and never. If I can help it. So, that's a fly out to Mabin. One away. Encarnacion striking out. Two down, Garcia at first base, and a brave up. Would be a nice place for a home run, but I don't know. But he is a uh, left field four out there, but he's got it. All right, Benuelos. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to play it by ear and let him at least start the inning. Because like I said, after this, you're not going to maybe even see him all year long. So he, he can be as tired of having his arm fall off as we want. As long as he gets the outs. And he did. He got us through six. Now, probably I should take him out. McCann strikes out in the top of the seven. Jimenez is up. Jimenez is going to go deep for his second home run of the day. You know what? I really have to send a tired Benuelos back out there. <laughs> Benuelos is like, what? Are you kidding me? I can't even walk. You're going to send me back out there? Bad regal with a single. So, yeah, I mean, it's 11. I'll say it's 11 to 3, dude. You aren't going to, whoa, you have a possible injury to Robert. Let's hope it's not long. Yeah, okay. You can stay in the game. Garcia up with one out and a ground ball second base X. And that's Scope, who will probably make the play, and he does, for a double play. No? Yes. All right, Benuelos. Benuelos. And he's going to get a fly ball. I mean, this guy is really, he's going the country mile. He probably, his arm probably feels like um, Jello gelatin right now. But he's out there, toughing it out, saving the bullpen. Ground ball A plus injury. Double play. And he was just shaken up, so he stays in the game. And here we come. All right, now, now... He is definitely gone, because now we're in the last two innings. That's going to be a strikeout for Moncada. In fact, I'll bring in a bad Herrera and see how bad he really is. Swing away for Encarnacion. That might be a double, and it is. And Abreu's up, and he strikes out. This guy is just having a terrible season. McCann. McCann strikes out. So um, one thing I am going to do while I go out there and get tired, the very tired, and uh, upset um, Benuelos is I am going to put Engel in the left for defense. And yes, I am, where is he? I am going to bring in Herrera. To pitch. And that's going to be a ground ball A for Goodrum. Cabrera's up. So I had a not only a bad starting pitcher out there, 
He had a bad card, a bad year. He was a bad starting pitcher. But he was tired on top of that, and they couldn't score maybe very much at all off of him. Scope is up, and he strikes out for the second out of the second half of the eighth. And Dixon is up, and he'll strike out too. So Herrera, yeah, he was bad. He let two guys in. That's a two whip. You don't want that. You don't want to write home about that. Engel is going to lead off and strike strike out. Tilson is up, and Tilson strikes out. And that brings up Madrigal, who's three for four. And now Candelario up against the very bad Herrera, and he gets him to ground out. Romine up. Fly ball right. No, no, that's I didn't place Tilson. But he might make the play though. Yeah, he makes a fine running catch, which is odd for Tilson. Oh, Herrera got injured. He has to sit out the rest of the game. I didn't really want that to happen. All right, we'll put in Fry. We'll let Fry get the last out. And he does. And that's a strikeout. Yes. Yes, fans, we have won. You like that? You like that? We have won against the lowly Tigers, who are now 5-20. and 20, And we are 15-10 and 10 after that. Nice. And let's just take a look at the uh, team stats here. Because I did mention those earlier. We're 15 and 10, 14 and 8 at home, and 1 and 2 on the road. And there's our primary stats. Um, you got Madrigal, man. It's just going off. I mean, he's loving it. Mendick. Uh, well, okay, 15 at bats, though. Mendick is hitting 407, though. And then you got Skoll 333, Mazzara at 329. Timmy Anderson, who is injured. And yeah, I want to check that in a minute too and see how long he's injured for. So you got Benuelos, man. He, he gave us the old college effort there. One start, seven innings, seven hits. Only one home run and two earned runs. That's it. Man, and, and and a terrible card, I, I have to remind you. So, uh, yeah. So now let's see here. Team. Let's go to league stats. And then we'll go down to injuries. Injury report. And we'll try to find Chicago. White Sox. Anderson, seven more games. I got to play without Anderson. So. I think we're toughing it out pretty good without him. So let's go to the game, play day. Um, so now you got Keichel out there, and I'm fine with that now. Um, let's see about the lineup. Um, hmm. Zach Collins is a lefty who's a 6R. So, yeah, you wouldn't play him today. Um, no, you would not do that. Although, Grandall can play first. Let's move Grandall to first. Put McCann in place of Abreu, but put him at catcher. Um, move Cuthbert to um, come in and play for... Um, oh, wait a minute. Moncada. Yeah. We'll put Cuthbert there and we'll move him down. Um, move Grandal up here. Jimenez up here. And then uh, anybody else? I was feeling like there was something else I was going to do. 
No, but at least I got Collins now as a uh, as a backup catcher in case there's an injury to the catcher. We give Moncada a day off. We give, uh, oh yeah, Jimenez. I wanted to see if I can give Jimenez a day off. And we could play Tilson. Although he's a, he's a lefty, he's a 5 R. Um, yeah, we can play Angle. Let's let's do that and give Jimenez a day off. So we've got a makeshift lineup out there, but again, this is Detroit, and uh, Matt Boyd is one of their better pitchers, though. But still, and we got Keuchel going. He's not chopped liver. So we'll see uh, how we can fare here. I'm hoping mm -hmm. definitely to win, but. But you got to rest, guys. Otherwise, the computer decides when they rest. And the computer may come up with a bad time to rest, like in the Minnesota series. Whenever that will be, I don't know. But men pick up with Robert on first base, and he's singles, so it's going to be two guys on against Boyd here. And I am sending a runner at 90%. You can bet that. And can RC own. Gotta love that home run, three run shot. Not coming back, folks. And Canarcion puts us up three nothing on Boyd. And definitely I wanna see Boyd out of there because he's easily the best Detroit pitcher. And that's an out. So Grandall got out, McCann is up. McCann strikes out. And Mazar is up. And he just had a day off, so he should be nice and fresh. And he's out. But we got three runs. We got three runs for the Keiko man. And that's going to be a ground ball to Mendick. Should be an out. Castro is up. And Castro is going to fly out. Man, this is a very... Man, I'm glad I'm not a Detroit fan, because I could not keep playing this season if I was a Detroit Tigers fan. Right field X, and that's Mazzara. He may let it drop. Can't get it. Nope, he can't. And then the crone man. And that's a pass ball, so he um, goes to second, and he hits the ball. The Mendic crone does, and he's out. So Lurie Garcia is up. We have a 3 nothing lead, and Garcia is out. Cuthbert is up. And Cuthbert just hits a jack. He just says, hey, let me get in on this. You don't have Moncada because I'm playing, so I don't want you to miss Moncada. So here's Engel for a strikeout. And there's two down, but we got a 4 nothing lead. And that brings up Robert swinging it away. Home run! But it, man, was Boyd that bad? I thought he was decent, at least. All right, well, you know, Mendix up and uh, striking out. I mean, I'm not going to complain. It's 5 nothing, and that may be all we really need with this lineup, against this lineup. Scope hits it to right. Zara, he's a lawn gnome out there, but we'll see if he can catch it. And he does. Brandon Dixon is up, and he hits a fly ball. By the way, do you guys see the new MLB proposed um, divisions? It's going to be three divisions of 10 teams. And thankfully, Detroit will still be in our division. But it's going to be the three 10-team divisions will be the West Coast Division, the Midwest Division, and the East Division. And, uh, you know, one good thing about that is we're going to play the Cubs by 10 or 12 times instead of just six. I mean, in reality, I don't know if that's good. I mean, the Cubs are still pretty decent. And Grandall, did he hit it out? I don't know. I, I didn't see the number. Nope, he got it. So that's an out, two down, McCann up. And he strikes out. He still got Boyd out there. That's brutal. 
So Castro is up, and he's going to head a single off Keichel. Good thing about Keichel, too, is he's got that negative six hold, so even if a good runner gets on base, forget about it. And Griner, Grayson Griner, will not hit the home run, I don't think. No. And so you got Mabin up and Mabin striking out. And that's two down. And with two outs, here comes Castro. H. Castro, as opposed to W. Castro. They got the Castro brothers. The Cuban connection. So here's Mazzara coming up in the top of the fourth. He'll swing away. you got to believe that's a home run or a double. And it is a double. Garcia. Hmm. And Garcia is going to hate me because I always consider or actually do bunt with him up. But we're going to do it. I mean, he's so good at bunting. And he does move him over, and now Cuthbert, who is one for one with a homer, is up with a man 90 feet away, and he hits a ground ball to shoot. Does he get the run home, though? He does. So it's 6 nothing, just 6 nothing. And Engel strikes out. So we are going to the bottom of the fourth, up 6 nothing with Cabrera up, and he's going to ground out. Crone is up. Line out Max. And Scope is up. Scope strikes out. So we have Lewis Robert leading off the fifth. And us walking away with a nice, healthy lead on the Detroit Tigers. He struck out, though. Mendick is up, and he strikes out. And that brings up in Canarsio. He will hit a fly ball to left field. Hopefully he can get by, by Dixon. And he does appear to get it by Dixon. So there's a double. Let's knock him in, Grandall. We can always use a couple more runs. But no, let's pop out. Brandon Dixon up against Keichel. And that's going to be a ground out. Candelario up the plate and out. And W. Castro is out. So we got McCann leading off for us in the top of the sixth with a very handy 6 nothing lead, but McCann in second. Mazzara, I'll let him hit it. Single one to six, but no, going to be a line out. Brings up Garcia. Garcia is going to fly out. And now we got two down. And Cuthbert is up. And he's doubling in a run. Cuthbert has been money. Stepping in for Moncada. Moncada's like, man, am I ever going to get my job back? Um, yes, yes, you are. So that brings up Engel, and he strikes out. But we have a 7 nothing lead on the Detroit Tigers, which seems insurmountable and probably really is. Brandon Dixon up and Mabin is up. And Mabin's going to hit a rip a single. Rip it. Henry Castro, H. Cast, I don't know. And he's going to hit a single. Does that knock Maven in? No. One out, and there's a double. Now Keiko's getting dragged all over the field like a redheaded stepchild. All right. Yeah, and he's tired, but I don't really care. He's going to stay out there. And he hit, oh, three-run home run. Now, now they're making it a little bit interesting. Seven, two, four. Scope is up, and he's tripling one to four. What is this? Come on.
Come on, man. Get an out. Dixon's up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to second, but that's going to make it 7-5. to five. So, yeah, I am going to take Eichel out after this inning. I thought, man, you know, I thought he'd have a cakewalk, but apparently not. Hit by pitch. Come on. Don't make me take it out right now. I at least get through the inning. All right, strike out to Griner. But Detroit strikes for five, and we have now only a 7-5 to five lead. And that brings up uh, Robert, who's going to be out. Mennick, who does not hit the home run. He gets the fly ball. And that brings up Ben Canarcion. Home run. Walk. All right, and Canarcion's aboard with a walk. He's a totem pole out there on the bases, though. Grandal hits a single. Okay, now Boyd is tired. We'll wait till he makes the change. And now I may actually, let me look at um, putting a pinch runner in for N. Canarcion. Probably not the greatest of ideas, but um, I'm going to. So we got Tilson out there now. He can run a little bit. And that's a walk. So now the bases are loaded with two down. And Soto is out there, and that's going to be an out. Man. So close to getting another run. All right. Um, we're going to um, definitely take Keichel out. Osich, man. Osich has really been good this year. He's been money for us. So let's bring him in to pitch to Maven. And he gets a fly ball. Castro's up, and he's going to hit a ground ball. There's two down for Detroit in the seventh, and Cabrera's up, and he hits a ground ball. Lurie Garcia at the plate, and he is going to hit the ball to first base. Cuthbert is up, and Cuthbert flies out. This is the top of the eighth, and we have Engel walking. Plus four, I'm going to try to steal. Safe, nice, and now Lewis Robert up. They bring in a, uh, they bring in Buck Farmer, and he induces a ground ball from Robert. I'm keeping Osich in the pitch, and he gets a ground ball by Crone. Scope is up, and Scope is hitting a home run. Are you kidding me? Now it's seven to six. Now we really cannot even breathe. Dixon up with an out, and he hits a fly ball to center. And Candelario is going to be pinch hit for by Ronnie Rodriguez, and he strikes out. So we're up by a run, a single run. We scored seven runs, and we're only up by one, but there's a single for Mendick to lead off against Farmer. He really needed that. Tilson up. Let's go, Tilson. Nice. He gets a single. Grandall is up. Come on, Grandy. Second base. Let's go. That's trouble. Twin killing. Two runners, two two out, and a runner at third, 90 feet away, and hit by pitch plus injury from McCann. 
He stays in the game, though, and Mazzara's out. Come on, Mazzara. Nice, Mazzara! It's a free run over! So now I don't think we have to worry anymore. And yeah, Farmer is tired. I can verify that. And they bring in Ramirez to face Garcia, who strikes out. Now, I'm not going to keep Osich out there because he's already pitched two innings. I probably could, but I won't. We'll bring in Marshall to finish it off. And they're going to bring in Jordy Mercer to pinch hit, and he walks. I always bring in these guys that, like, walk everybody. They don't give up a lot of hits, but they walk everyone and their brother. So Griner strikes out. There's one down with Mercer on first for Detroit. And that's a pop out to second. We're up by four. And that brings up Henry Castro or the Castro brother house. And he's going to hit a triple and knock in a run. And you know what? Detroit really gave it the old college effort in this one. But Cabrera strikes out, and we're out. So let's get the box score. That puts them at 5-21, and 21, and it puts us at 16-10. and 10. Keuchel is 3-2 and two on the year with a 476 earned run average. Osich with the hold um, and a 309 earned run average. And Marshall pitched one inning, allowed a run, and that increased his ERA to 338 on the year. But that's it for me right now. Sportsman Z, whose Chicago White Sox just took two, the first two of what's probably four from Detroit.